Hi, this is Steve Garbrecht. I'm the Chief Digital Architect at Achieve DE. I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the concept and the solution we created called the Industrial Data Bridge Solution. Basically, there are two types of applications that you see within a plant environment. There's the business system or higher level supervisory applications, and then there are the shop floor real-time systems and data sources. What exists between the two of them typically is what we call the data management chasm. How does it work? Well, basically, as applications are developed at the high level, so for example, taking a business system or an ERP system or an MES system and interfacing it to real-time plant floor data, you can certainly connect them via a single interface, single point solution to do that. But as things change at the plant floor level, like a tag might change or a data value might change, or maybe a new machine is added to the system, it can break the connection. Furthermore, there's a need for the people who maintain those, those real-time systems at the plant floor level to be able to kind of have a, have a sandbox to be able to create applications quickly to solve problems and answer questions. For such, such purposes as maybe a KPI is indicating there's a quality problem in the plant, but what is causing that quality problem? That's the difference between the two groups and why there is a chasm between the two that needs to be solved. To do that, we suggest the industrial data bridge, where basically you can organize all of your information sources at the real-time level, at the shop floor level, and leverage them once through a single interface and series of APIs up to the different business systems, data systems, and applications that need them, including the things that are becoming very popular these days with big data analytics and cloud environment. Being able to organize that information so it's useful to these applications. Some of the capabilities of this include data management and a common namespace, where you can name information logically as it is appearing within the plant in a hierarchy that makes sense, for example, by machine level and also by tag level. Being able to take and leverage that and transform that data into information that's more useful for users and applications, being able to do arithmetic functions on them, detect events and alarms as part of that. Maintaining it all within a secure environment from a change management point of view. So people who have authorization can come in and change the configuration, and those people that we allow authorization are the ones that know the underlying systems and can do it right the first time. Being able to standardize the depiction of data, how we, how we uh, categorize a particular machine and all the data attributes coming off of it, for example. Also incorporating a published and subscribed communications methodology, so you can easily control the communications across the, the plant where consumers of the information subscribe to changes rather than constantly polling the information on the real-time systems. Data abstraction from the interface. So as the interface changes, where it may be a new driver or a new PLC type that comes in, the data construct above that is maintained. And then application development being able to actually develop applications quickly using an object-oriented environment where I can create templates that can get reused. And as I make a change in a template, it can propagate that change to all the applications that leverage it as part of it. So what kind of outcomes can you get from this? Well, first of all, there's a sandbox capability created where you can very quickly create these applications for improvement programs, they say that you can only lean out your process as much as you have information and data to do so. And this allows you to quickly create an application that gives you that additional information to further lean the organization. Plant data lake for IT and OT integration. So this uh, area where we can organize the information for big data analysis and for understanding and reporting of the information. Real-time visibility and alerts for all users matter if they're on a mobile device, they're on a PC, they're getting information via a web page, both at the IT level and at the OT level. A single source of truth for history and reporting, where now I have a common data set, which includes both real-time information and historical information for all my reporting needs. And you can put this in for an individual problem you may have today, and it's future-proof where you can build new solutions on it in the future as you need them. 
This is what we're recommending for customers who are on their digital transformation journey, and we'd love to tell you more about it. So please contact us.